apartment today. This is Roxy's new home. Hey, look, they even watch Roxy on TV. Roxy, can you say hi to everybody? Wait a minute, did you guys think I was giving her away? No, 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 no. We moved to a new home, which is a lot bigger for her. It has floor, no carpet. We are on the first floor, so Roxy can actually jump all she wants. She can play all she wants. I can actually play with her and not being bothered by the neighbors below. So if you saw one of my last videos of if a husky can live in an apartment, this could be part two. If this is the first time watching Think Husky, thank you and welcome. For the rest of my friends, welcome back. If you're thinking of getting a husky or do you have one, this will be the channel where you will see what life is with the husky. It doesn't matter if you live in a house or an apartment, I will show you what life is with the husky. If you like what you see in this channel, please subscribe and hit that like button and let's move on. Since we moved here, Roxy's behavior has changed so much. For some reason, she's more calm, more quiet, running less. I guess she got used to not running at all and she's barking less and playing less. Go get it, Roxy, go, go Roxy. So do you have a husky? Are you planning to move to an apartment? Are you wondering if you can live in an apartment with a husky? The answer is yes, you can. Yes, you can. And I'm gonna show you what I did once I brought her to the new home. Roxy, come, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come. Sit down, get down, sit down. Good job. Roxy, Paul, another Paul. Yeah. Up, all the way up, stay. There you go. So I'm gonna give you tips on what to do if you move to an apartment with a husky. It doesn't have to be an apartment, it can be a house. These are good things to do if you have a husky or any other dog. One of the first things I started doing with Roxy since we moved is continue to not let her on the couch so she pretty much understands that and you can see why my second thing that i train her to do both of these girls and it's one of my favorites is i don't let her go into the other rooms that is very important because in there i have carpet i don't want that to to be dirty to have any accidents in there so they are learning to stay out here by not giving her access to the rooms the good thing about this apartment is that we have an actual door that they can't go into the rooms, which is a good thing. But when the door is open, I keep reminding them not to go in. So they sit by the door and they don't come in until either one, I let them or I go outside. I'm gonna put Roxy to the test right now. I'm about to walk into a room and let's see what happens. I'm not gonna call her, otherwise she'll come in. Only there. One foot in, two feet in. Just not coming in. Hey, let's go. Stay. 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 You stay there. You don't come in here. No, Roxy, go back. Go back. Let's go. See, it wasn't that hard. We're still practicing. See, no worries, be happy. Come. Well, 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 careful. Whoa, that's against the rules, girl. Play tug of war, I can get her tired here without thinking about it. Come on, come on, Roxy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Roxy. Thanks for watching. Think Husky, guys. See you next time.